What are you playing? Animal Crossing. Are you playing games? No, I'm, I'm looking and up. what are you playing, Coco? Huh? What the, are you? The regular battle because I don't. I'm not um level level uh ten yet. What are you playing? And there you have it, a typical weekend, video games and bicycles. In this video we will be running some practice welds on plain old mild steel, mild steel tubing. And uh, for these tubes I'm just using simple green. For real tubes you would also hit them with acetone, but for these practice tubes we won't bother with that. Now I'm cleaning it up with the belt sander, and uh, if these were real chromoly tubes, uh, thin wall tubing, you would need to be very careful doing this because uh, you don't want to uh, sand them down too much. Uh, the other thing is you would change the belt so that uh, you have a dedicated belt just for chromoly tubing. All cleaned up and ready for tack welds. I'm going to drop one there and here. And then we're going to flip it and do the same on the other side. Okay, here we go. Tack weld time. And on the other side, you can see there is a giant gap. But I decide to try and tack weld it anyway. And that was a mistake. Made a big hole. And I'm gonna uh, fill the hole, which is, I guess, good practice. You may come into a situation where you need to fill a hole like this, so. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Alright, now I'm tack welding the other side. Here's what I ended up with. Not too bad on this side, and on the other side, the whole. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys uh, the order that I weld uh, two bat. So I don't weld all tubes in this order. Uh, it depends where the joint is, I think. Uh, but for practice, or for most joints, I, uh, I've i been doing it in this order. So I'll do one side, and then I do the other. And then I do the corners last. So we're going to do three. I start from the outside and move into the corner, four, outside into the corner, five, and then six. So the reason I uh, do the corners last is because there are uh, the side welds are holding the tubes in place. If you do the corner first, uh, it could pull the two tubes together because nothing else is holding it and you might get a little gap on the other end. Okay, here's the order on the actual tube. One, two on the sides, then three, four, five, and six. Okay, now I'm doing a practice, practice weld. And you'll notice that buzzing sound, uh, that's because I'm running with pulse on. So I'm running 33 pulses per second, 33% pulse on time, and 33% background current. That's known as the rule of threes. I saw this on welding tips and tricks and always wanted to try it out. And I like it.
Alright, so I ended the weld and now I'm gonna try something where I'm gonna try and pick up where I left off. And so that is like you do a weld, you do a bead, and then you need to stop for whatever reason. And then you need to start up again, but uh, you want to do it in a way where it doesn't look like you stopped at all. I think this is pretty useful, especially uh, on a, when you're a beginner and when you're doing a bicycle frame tube. Um, I encourage you to stop frequently. Like if you get uncomfortable and something doesn't feel right, stop. If you can't see uh, the weld, you can't see the puddle well, you should stop. This is something uh, a lot of people uh, don't do in the beginning because you just you feel like when you're welding you feel like I can't stop I gotta keep going I gotta keep going and that is not true at all you can stop at any time. Alright so now I'm welding the tube and it takes me a while to form up a puddle again because I'm not used to this pulse thing. There we go. So I'm running this video in real time so you can see uh, my travel speed and really get a feel for uh, the, I guess, my the welding I'm doing. And I paused a little too long just then, you can see. And I end with pretty extreme torch angle, which is also bad. So it's it's kind of it's kind of fun to watch uh, myself doing this in the video because I get to see uh, all the mistakes I'm making. And I actually discovered something that I never noticed before, and after thinking about it, I'm like, hey, yeah, I shouldn't do that. And you'll see that in just a second. So I'm coming around. And there I go. So I had to change my, um, uh, my positioning of the filler rod, and you'll see I brought it out of the the shielding and that's bad because when you do that you're you're taking the the rod out of the argon and it is oxidizing and then I'm sticking that rod back into the weld and um, basically what I'm doing I'm sticking oxidized metal back into the weld which is bad especially on thin wall tubing because you're welding a tiny little bead there and any any um, oxidation or anything you introduce to that bead will weaken your joint. The other thing I noticed that I was doing is uh, when I finish a weld I actually remove the wire and I should leave the weld I should sorry I should leave the filler rod in the argon and let the filler rod cool down as well because every time I remove it I'm oxidizing the tip and then I'm using that same filler rod again on another weld, so I'm starting off with an oxidized uh, tip filler rod. I don't know if that's being a little too extreme, but I don't know, I think, I think there's something to that, and I'm going to try and keep the filler rod uh, in the argon when I'm finished from now on. Alright, so now I'm, I'm doing the corner joints, and these are a little faster because I sped up the video. I think this is the last one. Yep. Alright, there you go. Pretty ugly. I think that was the side with the hole that I had made. There's the other side, the other side, and the final side. And uh, I put this in there so you can see what a tack weld should look like. It's still silver and there's no discoloration. And here's the first T joint I welded. And then T 
joint number two, which uh, came out better than one. And finally, T joint number three. I think two came out better than three. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will work on the C-tube and the bottom bracket. Please join me for that, and I'll see you guys later.